Howdy all of you delicious people. I'm here today to review the pilot episode of Euphoria because it's an hour, almost an hour in length. So here's the weird thing about this show. Uh, so going into this, like it's just a lot of just kind of clips about this one character, Rue, for the most point. But then all of a sudden it just starts to jumble around and is to start to focus on other characters. And then it just wraps itself up in one episode. Uh, really, I think we just have this fact of this show possibly being popular simply because of, honestly, No Way Home. Uh, <laughs> or Spider-Man No Way Home is really why this show is actually just... Uh, popular now because we have a lot of people who are retroactively just going like man I like that no way home let's go and find out what everyone else is doing and so you're gonna start having certain movies that are to be tied with uh, certain character from that film that are all of a sudden gonna go well wow like uh, hugely massive and whatever because we have Endgame where that kind of happens the exact same way where all of a sudden uh, we have a certain popular show that all of a sudden is to have retroactively people go on to find other things that they're also doing and go and watch the heck out of that because maybe it's a possibly good show or really something interesting like i would say that this for this show like uh like i'm i'm wanting to like wonder what the heck the target audience really is of this show uh, because it seems like there is some kind of dicey subject that they go into this show with. So, like, I don't know if I can really recommend this show. Like, I think there is a lot of shock value that goes into this show. Uh, how we kind of have uh, really just Rue compared to, like, Britney Spears and Vincent Van Gogh and uh, these kind of characters. Because we find out Rue is to have... Uh, a several number of disorders or conditions like OCD and uh, and stuff like that but then you really have it to where none of these conditions or problems that Rue is to have is to really be, be at all focused within this first episode we really just have it to where the only focus that we really have with Rue is her drug problem and how she of course is to be dealing with that and so but then we go and have Rue go into this party and all of a sudden like we all of a sudden have these tangents and these things go on where they're starting to focus upon other people and I'm like okay this is a interesting show but an interesting show still with dicey content which uh, really, at this point, we have in, like, one episode, we have a number of people who are to uh, be unclothed or to go and say that possibly this character is to be uh, like, kind of young, and so they're all wanting to, of course, get some kind of uh, and I'm going to have to censor myself here, Wang somehow like all these uh some of these girls i guess are desperate for weighing i guess at some point desperate for that johnson um so to speak but really again the focus on is on this party and how uh certain people are to uh decide uh to uh get even with certain boyfriends or to um uh, definitely leave a mark on some people just like okay who is that girl or eventually just uh also we, we have uh some really dicey content with an older man and a very young uh girl uh which happens in this pilot episode letting everybody know just that way uh you don't kind of question what's going on here because i just stumbled upon this show uh Seeing that it seemingly was uh, to be a thing that was, for some odd reason, heavily popular. And so all of a sudden I was like, okay, what is this show now? And so all of a sudden 
went in here completely blind, had no clue what I was watching. And then all of a sudden I was like, okay, this is a weird show, but uh, I don't know. I was, I was, I'm kind of fascinated to see what other episodes bring here. Um, because really this show has shock value and I guess a shock value thing could be interesting enough to people because that seems like this show doesn't like even though it seems to have a story to me like I'm going through this I'm like there is no story in this show <laughs> there is no story it's just like hey let's uh let's see a bit of this let's see a a, a, a thing of that and I'm just like okay this is a very um odd approach to a show but hey there could be any kind of number of things out there and so maybe this is something that you liked and you enjoyed and you wanted to go and branch out and see more of um i don't know we'll see within this xyz thing if it seems that people are too want to have me review this or whichever or if it seems that people are interested uh then i will by golly go ahead and continue to watch this uh because like maybe the way that they approach episodes are, are wildly different than this first uh thing because it seems like when you go into the description of this how it basically just goes and talks about how uh, this is basically uh, drugs, uh, SEX, and violence, and whatever. Like, I'm like, well, yeah, like, those three things are the only things that you really see in this story. Uh, where it's just, like, that's, that's all you're going to get in this show. Um, besides the little uh, teeing it up of letting us uh, get to know about this girl named Guru. So, with that said, let's just go into that double five time territory. Let's just go into spoilers about this one. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get to know these characters. Because once I go into every show, I usually have that uh, real arduous process of getting to figure out who anyone is. So, more than likely, I'm going to have to like start to kind of thumb through certain names and stuff. Until eventually I will know these people at some point. Uh, so let's go into it. Let's go into spoiler times, spoiler time. It's about that time we get to spoil this episode. So we merely have it to where in the very beginning of this show, we have the origin story of Rue basically coming right out of the womb. Uh, describing to us her battle coming out of the womb, I guess. <laughs> so we go on and have uh, Rue, who is to be a baby and is to be taken care of by her parents. And so at one point we have Rue that is going on and counting uh, these little uh, these little light openings and these little uh, light panels. And then so she starts to count them and all of a sudden we have her mother interrupting her and then so we have rue going back and starting from one and counting again and then all of a sudden an interruption is to all of a sudden so rue all of a sudden is now crying because she can't she can't count all these lads uh as i have a southern accent for whatever brief reason so we go on and we have a therapist diagnose Rue with a number of things uh, that she is to be dealing with. Disorders or kind of things that are to be, of course, o uh, OCD or uh, a number of like stuff that they kind of rattle off here. To where her mother, who of course is to be uh, Leslie here, is to go and rattle off that Rue is to be... I guess of a very few number of people who are to have the same kind of problems that Rue is to have, like Vincent Van Gogh or Britney Spears, or I think she ends up rattling off one more thing that I can't remember what the name was of that celebrity. So Rue is to 
I guess, try to cope with all her problems by going on and uh, taking all kinds of drugs to deal with her problems. To where eventually she is to go on and when she is to go and bike to a party, we end up seeing her crashing at some points uh, to where I guess uh, this girl has gone on to do go into a number of parties and go on and uh, really get uh, to the point of her consistently needing, needing that next high or needing that next thing of beer and so on and so forth. So we just kind of see this girl really go in her way of narcotics and so on and so forth to her eventually going on and meeting up with a kid called Ashtray, which I ended up seeing this kid uh, who used to be this dealer. Uh, I had seen him in a show called Utopia uh, from 2020. Recently, I had gone on and wrapped that show up uh, so you can kind of uh, see the guy on that show that was called Grant. Uh, it's the same kid here. So it was kind of like, man, he's kind of heavily tattooed up and, and this and that. And it was kind of interesting to see kind of the guy that I know as Grant from the Utopia show is now on here as this ashtray-like character. So we eventually have it to our rue is to meet eventually at some point in this show with a guy named... Uh, Fezco, and it seems that Rue is to mention how, uh, at one point, let me pause here one second, where Rue had gone on to mention that Fezco had, I guess, touched her at one point. I'm kind of paraphrasing here because there's some stuff that you can't exactly say in YouTube, or heaven forbid your video will be marked for something for whatever reason. So, we go on and of course we eventually have eventually Rue making it to this party where uh, we really have to where Rue is to kind of make up the story that she is to of course uh, go and spend the night at some friends and her mother is going to let her leave without her going and taking some drug test. And so... We have, weirdly, Rue, who's walking us through the process of her being able to scam her way to passing this drug test by borrowing someone else's urine <laughs> and using it against this test. Because she goes on and rattles off a number of other things that could kind of clear her system out, but could also cause her to die in the process. Because if we haven't had her consistently, like lose her ability to be able to breathe and kind of pass out and die at some possible points where it seems that there is to be scenes where she is to be breathing in and out with this bag and we have it to where there's consistent times where it seems like she is to uh, at some point also be found by her younger sister Gia when Rue is to overdose on drugs, which caused her to go on to have this whole, uh, uh, um, rehab kind of thing where she's going on into these meetings and talking and discussing with other people about her addiction, I guess with medications or drugs or beer or whatever it is. So... We go on and we have Rue, who is to eventually go on to this party. And that's when we start to get other characters that are start to be in the mix here. We end up having, of course, a girl named Jules, who is to go on and uh, be texting a guy named Cal, a much more older gentleman. Well, I don't know about the gentleman part, but older guy, so to speak. And... So Jules and Cal are to go on and have their uh, seemingly um, hotel session together, let's just say. And it seems that at one point that Jules was to tell Rue at some point that she wanted to like, quickly become a 25-year-old girl. 
And Rue never really understood it, but I guess this story is to kind of help us really understand this, I guess, that she just wanted to be older uh, for reasons. So we also have Jules, who's to go on and make it to this party, and all of a sudden we have a, uh, a guy named Nate who is to be, of course, be upset with Jules because after Nate was to go on and find uh, his, uh, I'm assuming, ex-girlfriend getting it on with some guy in the pool uh, because this girl is to immediately grab onto this guy, force him into this pool, and so that way she can kind of be all handsy on this guy. And then Nate is to kind of see them, get really upset and jealous and whatever, going to this party, seeing, see Jules, I'm like, who the F is this girl? Like, because I don't know her, and why is she here at this party? And, like, Nate is just getting more and more upset about Jules being at this party. All of a sudden, Jules whips out this knife and is to cut herself, and then she's to, like, yeah, like, who's who's going to be really crazy here? And then Jules walks out of this party, and Rue's like, dang, that girl, like, I'm going to I'm gonna go and need to just hang out with that girl because that girl's freaking crazy. So Jules and Rue go off uh, to eventually spend some time together where Rue goes and bandages Jules, and they kind of sleep in a bed together. So, we also have it to where now there's other girls at this party who I guess are to have some focus here. So, we go on and we have a guy named Chris who's really interested in a girl named Cassie. But come to find out a number of guys, because the internet is to be at our fingertips now. These guys are have a... Uh, a big amount of proof that it seems that Cassie is willing to uh, show her body off to seemingly any guy in school to where all of a sudden I guess a bunch of guys might have forwarded all of these photos of her or really maybe Cassie is just giving it away we're not quite sure to the point of eventually we're seeing Cassie going along with two other men uh, to where Chris is just like well like <laughs> So this girl might want a certain kind of uh, intimacy, so to speak. So Chris eventually is to go on with Cassie and they are to be in a bed situation. And so Chris is to start getting really hot and heavy and starting to get really aggressive with Cassie. And so she ends up going on. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, this is not exactly what I wanted from you. And Chris is just like, oh, okay. But then Cassie just kind of turns around and she's like, well, like, but if you would have asked, maybe like uh, things would have been different. And so all of a sudden Cassie goes and kisses Chris. You just kind of say like, hey, this is all okay. But we might possibly be thinking in the back of our minds that Cassie's probably be like, oh, you probably found out a number of things because now, like, Cassie just has a reputation that is to kind of follow her around whenever she is to go and get a guy, I guess. So we also have a girl named Kat, uh, a girl named Kat who is eventually going to meet up with seemingly... Uh, one to three other guys and so we end up having it to where it seems that Kat is to be a virgin here and we of course have it to where it seems that another girl is to tell uh, Kat that it's like man you need to get on that uh, that that Johnson uh, because this girl is just a virgin so all of a sudden she's going to this party and hoping that a lot of people can think that she is to uh, do anything to be able to get with any guy. Uh, and we really have it to where these guys that are around Kat are just saying like, oh, well, you'll be really good at giving like BJs and this and that. And so 
And we end up having one of these guys, of course, asking Kat to take off of her take off her top, and so she easily does so. And so we just have these guys that are basically just saying it's like, oh, because you're a big girl, like you'll probably uh, give good head and stuff like. And so, like, supposedly this girl is to go on to one of her friends after she leaves this room and says that she had popped her cherry, so to speak, and. So, like, I guess she is to, after going and having that party, she, I guess, we see her next just kind of thumbing through photos of this guy, thinking that maybe this is to be much more of a romance instead of a wham-bam, thank you, ma'am kind of scenario, which we'll kind of see how that plays out in later episodes. So, um... With that said, uh, what else is there really to cover here? Um, I think, uh, oh, Nate is to go on after his party is to all be done and wrapped up with. Uh, we end up finding him walking into his house where we go on and find out that Nate is to actually be Cal's, Cal's son. So Jules was going on and was uh, kind of intimidating uh, Nate here to eventually have Jules be going on and basically going and having some moments of whatever, some secret moments with Cal and I guess maybe that's the reason why Jules had went to this party, even though nobody really knew who Jules actually was, simply because she knew this house. She knew this guy that was to live at this house, so hence why we have Jules arrive here. So, with that said, I think that does cover most of this episode, but uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, like, to me, it's still kind of, like, just, this is, like, shock value kind of episode. And so, really, for any of that, uh, that's to really just be the show that it is to be. Um, I, I'm kind of interested in see where, if there's ever really going to be something beyond what we just kind of see in this pilot. Uh, what they're going to do in future episodes, but... I don't know, it'll all depend on if people are interested in this show also. If nobody cares, then it's like, okay, I'll just move on. This will just be another uh, show that I covered at some point, because there's sometimes where pilots just, uh, or to just be like, okay, I'll just cover the pilot and that'll be it. Because <laughs> eventually you'll find, I'll find out that a show is randomly popular at a way later time than what it was originally. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, so with that said, man, that only took 23 minutes to talk about this whole episode and it's like an hour long. Um, I think simply because there's a lot of visuals in this show, there's a lot of slowing down of things where I just kind of sped the story up heavily. Um, so yeah, with that said, I think that's all that I want to say about this show, uh, so far until interest is to be interest. So I'm going to get out of here. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy.